Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. How to generate sequence number for all the records or the rows in SSRS report? So let's go ahead and take a look. Here I have a report and I do not have any sequence number. I'm going to add a new column here. So click right here and then insert column left. And let's call this one sequence number. Now we will be clicking here. Go to the expressions uh, and here we will use uh, the row number function uh, so if i would write a row number then uh, here i have to provide uh, the scope uh, so our scope is the data set uh, one uh, so that's the name of our data set i can, could have uh, write nothing that will also tell me okay this is on a data set uh, level uh, so i just put the data set name uh, here so this is going to generate us uh, the sequence number so now you see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and all the way to 11. Now there could be different situation when you will be using this function. In this case we didn't have a groups. Let's say if we have a report with the groups, how this will work. So let me show you the report with the groups. Now if we would like to add a sequence number for the records in each of the group, they should be starting from new sequence number. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new column here. Let's click here. Let's do on the right side now and uh, let's call this one sequence number but uh, we will be doing on the group level. Before that we have done uh, on the data set level. We'll use uh, the row number function as it is and here we have to provide uh, the name of the group uh, and you can see that uh, our group name is the region. So instead of uh, data set level now we our scope is the region level. That's our group. Uh, now we will hit OK. So depending upon the scope, row, no, row number will work. And now you can see that our sequence number start with 1, 2, 3, 4. And then when the next group start, we start with the again 1 and go to the uh, whatever the number of rows we have. So that's how you will use row number with different scope depending upon data set level or group level to generate the sequence number in SSRS report. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.